What is up, you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. Hey guys, Jonathan here, aka Mini Superheroes Today, and today we're taking a look at the LEGO Star Wars 2022 set Dark Trooper Attack. Now, this set retails for $30, and it comes out March 1st, but I got it a little early thanks to a local store that accidentally put it out too early. Anyways, this set is really cool because, of course, it's almost like a Dark Trooper Army Builder set, but $30 for only 166 pieces... I don't know. I'm not sure if it's worth it, but we'll get into the review and decide that together. So without further ado, let's get into it. Our first minifigure is Luke Skywalker, and he's really cool, and he's a new figure for the most part. Of course, it reuses the old Luke head and lightsaber and all that, but the legs and torso combo is new, and this hood piece is actually new to me. I don't think I own one of these uh, modernized hood pieces. I actually don't really like it. It seems to sit too far up on the figure's head, but there are other channels that have talked about that before, uh, and you can make your own opinion. Anyways, he's got a smirk on this side, but for this scene, I like the more serious face and yeah that's Luke. Then we also get three dark troopers which I really like. They're all identical which is another thing I like. Of course that's true to the show that they're all identical but the thing I like about it is you know if you want to army build you just need to keep buying this set over and over to get as many dark troopers as you want. The helmet lifts up and he's got a really cool face underneath. He's almost like a cool generic villain head underneath. Something else interesting, too, if you haven't seen it before, is if you lift up the shoulder piece and you hold it next to the torso, they're almost identical, which I think is just kind of cool that if you wanted to do some variations, you could maybe build it without the shoulder piece. I don't know. I'm uh, just throwing out ideas there since what I do a lot here on the channel is custom figures. He actually does look pretty cool without the shoulder piece, too, but, of course, I do prefer him with. So let's take a look at the set now. So the last thing to talk about is the build of the set. Now, as mentioned, it's only 166 pieces, but it does look really great once it's all built up. It's just a tough pill to swallow for $30 when you consider what you get here. But anyways, the nice thing, of course, is the Dark Troopers, um, but well, that's more about the figures than the set. I really like these little uh, pieces over here, kind of like the elevator uh, where it's at and all that, so I do like that. As far as the set itself goes, there are a lot of stickers you can see on on the columns going up here on those panels then there's a little elevator button and behind a luke there's actually some interesting stickers inside the elevator there um luke's cape got stuck there but they are actually pretty tricky to put in so before you get this set just be aware of that one thing that's cool we'll zoom the camera out is you can twist this little turn knob and have luke kind of turn through the elevator but the only way to get him to turn around fully is to take the lightsaber out of his hand that way he can spin and you can close it and then open it but if the lightsaber is in his hand it will not open and close properly while we have luke in my hand here the other cool kind of play feature is you can put him right here and kind of spin him as if he's deflecting the bullets from the uh dark troopers and there's a cool thing built in here with this little pulley that allows you to kind of walk the dark, dark trooper further. I think it'd be cool to kind of mod this and build a second track on the way in. You'd probably need two of this set to do it, but to have them move in unison, that would be pretty cool. There's some open space over here that I suppose you could add more detail to if you wanted to, but that's really all there is to say about the set in and of itself. So let's zoom out and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, guys, let me know what you think of this set. Thanks for checking this out. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit like and subscribe down below for more LEGO videos here on the channel every day. Well, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe and maybe check out one of my other videos listed here.